Hey everybody, Brant here from the Dance to Death Afterlife podcast. And why am I holding this box of Kleenex? Well, I'm going to tell you, but first I want to tell you about something that really brought me to tears. So I'll admit that I, uh, I cry easily. Uh, my kids will tell you that much. They've seen me weep in front of television commercials, of all things. But this morning, I was laughing and crying at the same time watching an amazing documentary called Alive Inside. Now, let me give you a little background. I recently read the autobiography of Oliver Sacks, who was a famous neurosurgeon, and he was the guy who discovered these frozen people stored away in some back hall of a psychiatric hospital that due to uh, what I think they called post-encephalitic uh, uh, Parkinson's were like statues. You might remember they made a movie about it with Robert De Niro and... Uh, uh, Robin Williams playing um, uh, Oliver Sacks and how he gave them this drug and they all came alive. Well, this is amazing work. And Oliver Sacks continued to do that kind of work, looking for ways to wake people up from either Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or anything that might affect their brains in ways that kind of just makes them atrophy. Well, the one that really interested me because I'm a musician is um, the work that he did with how music acts like a drug in parts of the brain that aren't affected by dementia and Alzheimer's. And uh, this is a, this documentary called Alive Inside actually features Dr. Oliver Sacks and lots of other amazing people who, who show you in ways that will bring you to tears. Uh, people that are stored away in nursing homes and how they are brought to life with a $40 iPad. Okay, amazing. So why am I telling you all of this? Well, for any of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I've got uh, an aging mother at home. She was born in 1925. Uh, she's in pretty good shape, but she definitely could use some help aging in place in her home in Maryland. Hey, Mom. Am I, am I still coming for dinner tonight? No, Mom, I'm in Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I, I can't come for dinner tonight, but um, maybe you're maybe you're confusing me with Jeffrey. And I'm amazed at how hard it actually is to find tools and technologies that um, that make life better for her. I mean, even in my own home, I sometimes struggle to call up a video or a movie that I, I want to watch. Uh, just because the technology is so damn complicated and I've seen people smarter than me struggle with it. So imagine being 92 years old and trying to stimulate your mind with music or with uh, videos or content, even, even to read a book. Okay, her eyesight has failed, so we tried to get her a Kindle Fire. That didn't work. She, it, you know, it's a mess. I mean, Pulling up an audiobook is simple for maybe you and me, but is really, really hard if you're suffering from dementia or any other ailment that affects the brain. This is where Oliver Sacks and the folks at uh, Memory and Music are doing amazing things by making it easy for people in nursing homes who are, um, who are suffering from dementia, Alzheimer's, even multiple sclerosis. And that reminds me. I've got a very dear friend who's my age, okay, so 61 years old, uh, uh, that's dying, to be blunt. And uh, she is, you know, wallowing away her life in some little shithole of an apartment, and she can't even pull up a movie because she doesn't know how. This is, this is not easy stuff. So, a vast opportunity exists to improve people's lives with state-of-the-art on-demand technology that will help them fill their world with the kind of intellectually stimulating content that the rest of us enjoy, films and music, and let them communicate with other people to dispel those terrible feelings of loneliness and isolation that come with aging. And in a future senior moments, 
we're going to show you one of the most important. I'm really excited about it. And I think you will be too. So the podcast, Dance to Death After Life. Big shift here. We are going to start focusing more on the tools, tips, and technologies that help people solve these problems. I have a long history in tech. I like technology. I tend to be kind of a geek. Okay, so I like solving complicated problems and figuring out where the wires get plugged and what software has to be done. And then I want to make it easy for all of you who might be dealing with an aging parent or a friend who needs some help. So that's the goal. There's going to be a shift in the focus and we're going to expand beyond just death dying in the afterlife, which is historically what I've been doing with the podcast. And we're going to start including more about uh, the issues of aging and technology that can help. Uh, along with that shift, I'm going to have a new logo and a new brand. It's going to be called Dance Past Sunset. Why that? Because these are our sunset years and I want everybody dancing. Check out the documentary. It's called Alive Inside and you will see people dancing who are in their 80s and their 90s. Just incredible. So cheap. Okay, 40 bucks solves a problem that thousands of dollars of drugs cannot solve. And this is where the opportunity is. I hope you hang with me. This has been a senior moment by Frank Hubblespin. Dance Passes.